Hi everyone, my name is Blair. My name is Ishara. And my name is Jordan. And I bet you're wondering who we are and why we are up here. Well, we're happy to tell you that we, as in part with the nine representative districts, have joined forces to create a citizen-centric report to let you know how your city of Chattanooga, Tennessee is doing. Over the next 20 minutes, we are going to talk about four aspects of the citizen-centric report. The first aspect is going to be about Chattanooga, Tennessee and its current demographics. The second is a brief city evaluation. The third is a financial overview of the city's finances. And the fourth and last aspect will be our vision towards the future of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Please, we ask that you hold all questions to the end and we will hold a brief Q&A. This citizen-centric report is focused on encouraging governments at all levels to improve how they present financial and performance information to taxpayers so that it is clear, accurate, up-to-date, and easily accessible by all. Everyone, as you can see, we're going to start our citizen-centric report with the vision for Chattanooga. The vision for Chattanooga is important and essential for our report because it shows you all where Chattanooga is going. Now, with this vision, Mayor Tim Kelly has worked with city officials and other members of the community to ensure that all residents have access to opportunities, thriving neighborhoods, and good health. But in order to talk about where Chattanooga is going to go, we need to talk about where Chattanooga was. So Chattanooga was established by a city, by the state of Tennessee, in 1815. And today, it's the fourth largest growing by population at a rate of 8% since 2010. Now, Chattanooga has a lot of strategic advantages that we may not know about. So I'm going to talk about a couple. One is the location, strong transportation system, natural resources, and competitive cost of doing business. And with that being said, Mayor Tim Kelly is super optimistic about the opportunities with business and investments that Chattanooga is going to have in the future. But stay tuned for that because later on in the presentation, we're going to talk about different companies that are investing in Chattanooga. When discussing Chattanooga, it's important to know who and what make up Chattanooga. So we've included several different demographic points that really show that Chattanooga is a growing, thriving, and vibrant community. And we also compare Chattanooga to the rest of the state of Tennessee. This is, gives us a good comparison of where Chattanooga stacks up. As you can see, and as Blair discussed earlier, Chattanooga is the fourth largest city in the state of Tennessee. It also has a median age almost two years younger than the rest of the state. You can also see that the high school graduation rate and the college graduation rate are higher in Chattanooga than the rest of the state. Again, this shows that a lot of great things for young people are happening in the city of Chattanooga. As you look up some of the racial makeup of this city, while you can see that Chattanooga is a predominantly Caucasian city, um, there is also a strong population of the black community as well as many other diverse communities as well. Moving on to our city's evaluation, we have included five main areas that we feel paint a detailed picture on how our city is performing. These areas include demographics, economy, public safety, public works and transportation, and parks and recreation. We've also included a five-year trend line from 2017 to 2021 to show you all how our city has been performing in the past five years. As we talked about earlier, the population of Chattanooga has been rising at an 8% rate, but what you'll notice is that the personal income is also rising and is at par with our, with our increasing population. This shows that our economy is thriving and vibrant and that it's attracting more and more people. Our commercial property values are also rising and this indicates a strong demand for commercial space, which we will discuss in our investment section. We want to touch on unemployment rate and the public safety because we know that these are concerns that our citizens have. As you can see, unemployment has been rising or was rising with COVID and ha but has been going down in the recent past and, and will continue to go down with the investments that we have planned for the future. With public safety, you can see that the rate of crimes committed has been rising at a slight rate, but we want to assure you that Mayor Kelly and his team are aware of this and are hoping to uh, mitigate this issue with the, um, with the plans that they have for the future. So we have included links to the police department's 2021 report, which shows their strategies and their goals for reducing this crime rate. And Mayor Kelly also has a distinct plan to address gun violence, which uh, we have included the link for as well. Uh, one of our main uh, tourist attractions and one of the attractions that our citizens enjoy is the Chattanooga Zoo, which we are proud to say has been growing and thriving as well. It has recently expanded to include a red panda exhibit and a giraffe exhibit. 
Definitely a trending topic here in the city. We have included five major partnerships with different companies that are going to bring thousands of jobs to Chattanooga. The biggest being Volkswagen. They are going to start creating their electric vehicle here in Chattanooga, which will create over a thousand jobs with an $800 million expansion. Total, these five investments will bring $1.12 billion to the city. It's also worth noting that every year the city of Chattanooga invests $10 million in minority and women owned businesses. Also, your city representatives have created a survey for the 10th year in a row, and you can definitely access that. And if you don't believe us, check out this cute clip that we made for what's going on around the city of Chattanooga. section we're going to talk about is a financial overview of the city of Chattanooga. This is our revenues and our expenditures for the city. So this is the money that comes into the city and what the city is spending money on. As you can see in our chart, we compare 2019 to 2021. This is important to note that we're excluding 2020 because it was such a catastrophic year and in very unusual circumstances due to COVID. So as you can see um, in our final line, um, the percentage change from 2019 to 2021 included these helpful donut graphs. These graphs are really helpful to showing the proportionality of each, in our, each of our revenue expenses for the year of 2021. It's also important to note if you look at both revenues and expenditures uh, for 2021 as compared to 2019, they are down by about 1%. If you'd like to know more about the City of Chattanooga's finances, we've included, included this helpful QR code that goes to the City's financial report that you can look at here. The final section of our CCR consists of what we want our city to look like in the future. We've talked about what we've been in the past, how we're currently performing, and all of this builds up to what we hope to achieve in the future as a city. This is encompassed in Mayor Tim Kelly's One Chattanooga Plan that is created based on the belief that every Chattanoogan deserves the opportunity to succeed and thrive regardless of race, place, or identity. The One Chattanooga Plan is a strategic plan for our city's future. It provides a broad vision and is informed by citizen output and designed to provoke action and community dialogue. The plan is a living document. It's flexible, to, uh, to accommodate our ever-changing and ever-growing city and is designed to hold our city officials accountable in achieving ambitious goals. Plan clearly details the goals that we hope to achieve, the vision of what we hope our city will be in the future, and also addresses challenges that we will face in the process of executing these goals. As you can see, part of the One Chattanooga Plan is seven goals and seven vision statements. It's important to note that all 14 of these statements are dedicated towards enhancing the quality of life and providing equity for every Chattanooga. Things about our goals is we want to close the gap in public health and we also want to ensure affordable housing for everyone. A couple things about our vision is Chattanooga wants to emphasize that education is not a privilege and every child should have education. We want to make long-term investments to make sure that future Chattanoogans are as set and as promised as we are currently. It's really important to address the challenges that Chattanooga faces coming into the future. We want to address these to make sure that we can reach all of our goals and all of our vision statements. Things like the legacy of racism that has been uh, affecting Chattanooga since the Jim Crow era is still happening today and that's why we chosen to address that in our vision statements. Other things like research that has shown that Chattanooga is one of the worst cities to grow up poor in. We really want to address these things by tackling affordable housing and quality of, of education. That's going to conclude our presentation for today. I hope that it was informative and helpful for everyone here in Chattanooga. We're going to open this floor up for questions now, but if you have any questions after this meeting, please feel free to reach out to your mayor or city council officials. They are here to work for you, so please email them with questions, comments, concerns, or any ideas to improve the quality of life here in Chattanooga. We'd like to thank you all again for joining us today and your city officials and Mayor Tim Kelly for having us. And I want you to remember, if you leave today with anything, please remember this, that every Chattanooga deserves the opportunity to, to succeed and thrive regardless of place, race, or identity. Have a good night, everyone. So guys, what do you think that you've learned from this project? I know that I have learned more about the initiatives that Chattanooga is taking to become a better city. I definitely learned that if there's something I want to know about my hometown, my city, that 
I learned the avenues of how to um, access that kind of information, which I did not know before. And I think I've really learned a lot about the way that we present information to our citizens, making sure that it's easily understandable, uh, easily digestible, and user-friendly for everyone. Yeah, some of the decisions we had to make was, uh, for example, what taxes to include. Do we include um, all the types of taxes that Chattanooga gets its revenue from, or do we um, kind of pick and choose the important ones that we think that everyone will understand? So just making those kinds of decisions uh, really ties into Jordan's point of just presenting information to someone that may not have all the details. Yeah, and a lot of this stuff I never would have thought of before until doing a project like this. So we think we all definitely learned a lot.